So the first game we tried in this year's Steam What's Next demo festival was Healing Spree. So Team Slurp, what did you think about Healing Spree? All right, well, Healing Spree is a fun game where we're all doctors working as a team to fix the patients. And the patients will have different medicines that you have to make and give them to heal them. And they just drop them off the road, and then we have to go pick them up and bring them into the room and thesoscope them. And there's different types of maps where you can have different challenges that you have to complete. It was a great game overall. I rate it 5 out of 5. What was your favorite part about it? Like, what did you really like about it? Well, how, like, funny whenever you died or something. And then how, like, they would, like, twitch out and stuff. You know, I, I'm going to agree. We started the demo by playing. The fir- we did the best one first. We didn't save the best for last. We did the best one first. I'm not going to talk a lot about it because we already did a full video about it last time but I really liked the fact that all four of us could play together can work together and fail together like it was it was fun and funny I give it um three out of five stars just because it's the type of game that I would play every once in a while uh, not the type of game I would like really play every day The next game we tried was Era of Newborns. So um, I don't know if I fully understand the story, but I did watch the video, and it looked like some kind of pharmacy companies and viruses has kind of wiped everyone out, and it's kind of like this apocalypse survival game. Uh, So it sounded kind of cool. Um, We got in, and what was your thoughts, uh, Team Slurp? Did Did you enjoy this game? No, I didn't really like it. It was bad graphics and kind of laggy. Like, at the very beginning, you'd be stuck in this box that you couldn't get out of. and But you had to crouch to get out of it. But it's pretty hard to figure that out. And then, there's like a lot of grinding you have to do in this game. So I give it a 1 out of 5. Yeah, you know what? And in fairness, we're playing a very early demo. So a lot of this game, I feel like, isn't complete yet. But from a demo point of view, I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with um I'm gonna agree with what Team Slurp said here. Uh, it it wasn't that fun, but it might be fun later. Um, we could build, we could craft items, we could build a little base, and that was about it. Like there was nothing to fight. There was no goal for why we were building the base. At some point, we kind of just realized, you know what we're doing? We're collecting resources and building a base for no reason. And it was like the grinding of getting all of the resources was implemented, but there was no actual reason to do it. We did explore a little bit too, and all we did is find like a vast wilderness with like nothing in it. I guess we saw, we saw an airplane, we saw some trains, we saw like ruins of the previous civilization, but there was nothing to fight, there was nothing to do, there was no goals, um, which it was an early demo. So, I mean, maybe they'll add a bunch of content that we just didn't see. But from a demo point of view, there was nothing to do but collect resources and craft things. And that's it. So I, I'm agree to maybe like 1 out of 5, 2 out of 5 from a demo standpoint. Then we moved on to the Tree of Life Odaira, if I'm pronouncing that right. And unfortunately, this demo was not multiplayer. So I did. I found out the rest had logged in and tried. And I found out from them that it was multiplayer, so I didn't even launch it and don't have any opinion of of what it was like. Yeah, I think it was a fun game overall. You could fight things, you could craft things. It was very fun, except for we cannot play multiplayer. It's kind of like Ark, but I don't think you can tame things. But I think there will be a storyline to this game in the future and multiplayer. But otherwise, I think it's a good game overall that you can play. And yeah. Yeah, and and in fairness, the demo was not multiplayer, but the game itself, when it comes out, will be multiplayer. The next game we tried was a very similar story, Frozen Flame. The demo also was not multiplayer. Um, This one I did install and try, I guess. Really, all the demo was was I defeated an Ice Elemental demo done. 
So not enough for me to have any opinion. Uh, did you? Do you have anything you want to say about this one? Mm, not really. It, like the storyline was pretty cool. You got to fight things, but otherwise you have nothing to do. The demo was very short. It wasn't multiplayer. Uh, no rating from me. All right, next up is Cubix. It was a really fun game. You could build, you could break, and you could get all sorts of different level ups in armor. You could level up your character, and there's, like, magical things that you can do. You can fight, like, skeletons and zombies and, like, bears. It's really fun, and, like, you can break and get building. Like, it's kind of like Minecraft, but different. See, I think you and Slash liked this game better than I did. To me, it was almost more of an activity than a game. Like, we walked around and battled things, and then we walked around and battled things, and then we walked around and battled things, and it didn't seem like, it didn't seem like there was much more. And again, we're playing an early version of the game. I think that they're going to add some base building to it. I think they're going to add some bosses to it that aren't there. Uh, from a demo point of view, though, like, everything worked good. This one wasn't buggy. Like, I didn't run into problems. And actually, one funny thing is you can battle other players and you can teleport to any other player. And um, one of our group, Sam, was talking some trash to someone in the chat. And they had killed him. He was talking some trash back to them. They teleported to him. But little did they know, all of us was standing right next to Sam, and as soon as he teleported in, we killed him in about two seconds. And, and just get ready to start attacking. I'm ready. ready. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, that's so funny. Uh, hey guys, don't put to me. So that was kind of funny. That said, like. I don't know if it's my type of game. It seemed like a lot of just fighting and walking and not a lot else. I kind of give it maybe two out of five. What did you give it? Uh, I'll give it a four out of five. All right, so this next one is Monkey Split. It's like a hide and seek game where there's a monster, like monster monkey that goes around trying to find the other players and then turn them into ghosts, kind of like Among Us. And then you also probably in when the actual game comes out, there will probably be tasks and stuff you can do because it's supposed to have tasks, but it's not fully finished yet. So there isn't tasks yet, but I think it'll be a decent game once it comes out. Now I'm going to completely disagree. This is never going to be higher than one out of five is generous. This was a terrible game. Um, the task seemed like put an item in a box. It maybe works, but we couldn't figure out how to do it. And just running around through the same identical rooms, it was fun for not even 30 seconds. I'm never playing this again, even when it's fully done. So then we played Crooks Like Us, which was a multiplayer game that we were able to play uh, together. Uh, this involves basically stealing jewels from this jewelry store and trying to get the most that we can to the van. We can tackle each other uh, to prevent someone from getting jewels or to steal jewels from each other as well. Um, also, I guess I'll start with my opinion. Also, I mean, it's better than the monkey game we just talked about, but not by a lot. It felt like just running jewels from the store to the van got boring after about a minute. And I don't think that there's really anything else to it. Um, Team Slurp, what did you think? You played it a little more than me. I only managed yeah, to play I a couple it rounds. Quite a bit. I thought it was actually pretty fun because I could set up traps and stuff to troll Slash. It was pretty fun because, like, you could knock out cops and they were worth a thousand dollars. And it's really cool because the vault will open and then there will be, like, ten thousand dollar jewelry in there. So what would you rate it? I would rate it 3 out of 5. Yeah, I'm going to stick with my 1 out of 5, I believe. So, next up we have Super Bucky Ball Tournament. It was actually a really cool game because it was kind of like Rock League and Fortnite Mix. It was super cool because it's like super good for just a demo. Like you could have your own character... And it'll do all these powers, and you gotta try to score the goals. 
and there's like super power ups around the map and energy. So yeah, I think it was a really fun game. I I never got to try this one, so I don't have any rating on it. But I think you and Slash act you and Slash were talking like this was one of your favorite demos to play, right? And yeah. just and just seeing some of the game footage and seeing you play, it did remind me an awful lot of Rocket League. Um, where you, it's like a, a, a soccer game, basically, a multiplayer soccer game, but not regular soccer, more like science fiction soccer. Yeah, I rate it 5 out of 5, definitely. More like 10 out of 5, but, Do you, yeah. Did you like this one better than Healing Spree? Yeah. Okay, well, I never got to try it, so I have no rating. Mm. Boom.